What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. First of all, a huge thank you to everyone who helped the last video hit 300 likes. Your support honestly means a lot. So let's set a new challenge for today. Can we reach 400 likes? I know you guys can do it. So in this video, I'll be showing you seven powerful good luck features that can improve your daily usage, boost productivity, and upgrade your camera experience. I also give you real life examples so you know exactly when and why each feature is useful. Also stay tuned because I'll soon be announcing a competition where you can win a Samsung case. I'll be sharing how to enter and when the winner will be announced very soon. So let's begin. So feature number one is where you can turn on setting change history on your Samsung Galaxy device. So let's say your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth suddenly stops working or your phone starts behaving differently. So instead of guessing what went wrong, you can open up settings change history and instantly see which setting was changed and when, saving time and frustration. So setting change history in Registrar keeps a complete log of all the system settings made on your phone. So this tracks what settings were changed, when it happens and whether it was changed by you or an app. So here you wanna go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and you wanna find the Registrar module. Tap on this. Here you wanna go ahead and tap on settings change history. Go ahead and turn this feature on. So I've already turned this feature on and you can see all the settings changes I have made. So as you can see, just at 3.42 today, I've made some settings change to the sound. I've turned off do not disturb. I've made some settings to the private DNS. And these are all the settings change which I've made so far. So this helps you troubleshoot sudden issues on your phone. It identifies any accidental setting changes which you have done. This gives you a transparency over your system behavior, ideal for users who customize them often. Now feature number two is how you can turn on the quick tap shutter on your camera app. So imagine you're taking a photo on this camera app and you're trying to take a photo of a child, pet or a passing car. Normally, by the time the camera focuses, the moment is gone. So with the quick tap shutter enabled, the photo is captured immediately, even if the subject is moving. So here, I can go ahead and turn on my camera mode. And as you can see, I can keep taking pictures and I don't have to worry about missing the moment. So the quick tap shutter allows your camera to capture photos instantly the moment you tap shutter without waiting for focus or processing any delays. So let me show you how you can turn this feature on. So first you wanna go ahead and open up your Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, scroll down and you wanna find Camera Assistant. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and find the Quick Tap Shutter option. Go ahead and turn this feature on. So here you can take pictures as soon as you touch the shutter, an extra picture will also be taken when you swipe or hold the shutter. So here, turn this feature on, go ahead and restart your camera. Now go ahead and start camera, and then go ahead and start taking pictures without any delay. So you have faster photo capture, ideal for moving subjects. It reduces shutter lag, and this gives you a responsive camera experience. So feature number three is where you can use side button to open an app. So if you often need quick access to your camera, flashlight, notes, or payment apps, you can open them instantly without unlocking your phone or searching them through the app drawer. So here on my phone, if I go ahead and press the side button, this opens up Spotify. So this feature allows you to assign an app to a side button, letting you launch instantly with a double press or a long press. So let me show you how you can set this on your Samsung Galaxy device. So first you wanna go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, scroll down and find Registar. Now here you wanna go ahead and find the side key press and hold action. Turn the feature on and then go ahead and scroll all the way down and then find Open App. So go ahead and tap on settings. And here you can go ahead and configure what app you want it to open. So let's just say, for example, you like to listen to music and let's say it's YouTube music. So we'll go ahead and set YouTube music, open app. Now we'll press home, we'll lock your device. We'll go ahead and wake it up, go ahead and long press on this. And there you go, we have YouTube Music opened up. So this gives you faster app access, it reduces screen tap, improves one-handed use, and it customizes your phone experience. Now feature number four is where you can keep your screen on for 30 minutes. So this is perfect when you're following a recipe, watching a workout routine, reading long articles, or using maps while driving where constantly touching the screen is inconvenient or unsafe. As you can see, 
if you go ahead and open up your settings and display, your screen timeout is only restricted to 10 minutes. So this setting lets your phone stay awake for up to 30 minutes without turning on the display, even if you don't touch the screen. So here, let me show you how to turn this feature on. So first you wanna go ahead and open up your GoodLock app. Now in the GoodLock app, scroll down and you wanna find your display assistant, tap on it. Now here, go ahead and find keep screen on. So tap on this. And then here you wanna go ahead and tap on add quick settings button to your quick panel menu. So I've already added it. So if I go ahead and open up my quick panel menu, you'll see that option on this menu here. Now, if you don't see the option here, you can go ahead and tap on edit here, the pencil icon, edit it, and then go ahead and find that option. So here we have the option, keep screen on. So this is ideal for hands-free use, prevents screen timeout frustration, and this is great for long viewing sessions. Now feature number four is where you can switch on auto lens switching for your camera on your Samsung Galaxy device. So when you move from outdoor daylight to indoor lighting, this feature ensures your camera switches lens intelligently so you always get the best quality without noticing any sudden changes or distortion. So auto lens switching automatically selects the best lens based on lighting and distance, ensuring optimal photo quality without manual adjustments. So to find this option called auto lens switching, you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, scroll down and find Camera Assistant. Now here you wanna go ahead and find this option, auto lens switching. So this lets the camera pick the best lens based on zoom, lighting, and distance to the subject. Go ahead and turn this feature on, and that's all you need to do. So this way you'll get better image consistency, it improves low light performance, and you have smoother lens transition from all the three different lenses which you have in the back of your camera. Now feature number six is where you can make your adaptive brightness change speed quicker. So when you step outside into a bright sunlight or enter a dark room, the screen brightness adjusts almost instantly so you don't have to manually change it every time. So if you notice, let's say you have adaptive brightness on, when you take it from a bright environment to a dark environment, you'll notice that it changes really slowly. However, with this feature on, adaptive brightness allows to adjust more quickly to change in the ambient lighting. So let me show you how you can turn this feature on. So for this, go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, scroll down and find Display Assistant. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and find Adaptive Brightness option. And here you can go ahead and change the speed. So currently it'll be at 1x. However, you can go ahead and make it to 4x. So this is the speed of brightness change depending on the surrounding of the environment. So if you move from a dark environment to a bright environment, it'll change the brightness of your screen four times faster. So this way you have faster brightness adjustments, it improves your screen visibility, and it reduces eye strain. Now lastly, feature number seven is where you can use Routine Plus to display a routine on your now brief cards. So if you have routines like bedtime mode, driving mode, work mode, you can instantly see which routine is active, understand why certain settings like this, silent mode or reduced brightness are enabled. So this Routine Plus lets you display currently running routines on your NAV brief cards, giving you a real-time visibility of your phone's automation. So let me show you how you can do this. So first, go ahead and open up your Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Routine Plus. Now here, you wanna go ahead and tap on Just In Routine. Go ahead and create your first routine. So let's say as an example, you have a routine where you top up your child's school money every Sunday. So here I'll go ahead and tap on transfer. Next, I'll go ahead and just change this around. Now here I can go ahead and choose what app. So the app which I use is Chrome. So I'll go ahead and search for Chrome. It's a website which I log on to and then from there I can go ahead and top up. Now I'll press next. Now I can go ahead and choose a frequency. So I can set a notification repeat condition. So is it daily, weekly, monthly, or a date? So I'll go ahead and just choose daily for now, press next, choose a time, and then next, and then complete this. So now that routine has been set. So every day at 12 o'clock, when my phone is locked, you'll see a notification which will appear right here, telling you to top up your kids' school money. So this gives you a better routine awareness, easier automation control, and it improves your productivity. 
And that's it for today's video. Seven powerful good luck features with real world use cases that can seriously improve your Samsung experience. Once again, thank you for your amazing support. Let's see if we can hit 400 likes on this video. I know you guys can make it happen. Also, stay tuned because I'll soon be announcing a competition where you can win a Samsung case. I'll be sharing how to enter and when the winner will be announced very soon. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Every like helps you to push this video out to more people. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.